wants you, the fan, to be ready before you head to the track on Sunday. We do want to head out to RTV6's Elena Martella. She joins us live from the Speedway this midday. And Elena, the president of IMS and others are talking about those safety moments just a little bit ago. That includes some big changes if you park inside of IMS. What all do they have to say? Yeah, Lauren, this meeting just wrapped up about 30 minutes ago and a number of topics were covered, but the most important items stressed by IMS President Doug Bowles were safety and the importance of getting here early. Now the reasoning, because all vehicles with parking passes and do note that all parking is sold out, are subject to search by K9. Also new this year, all coolers will be searched and the size limit for those coolers are 14 by 14 by 18, which those searches will also add in adding to aid in adding to longer time spent getting in, but do keep in mind all of these actions are being done with your safety in mind. We just want to make sure that, that the vehicles that are parked inside our facility are safe. I mean, that's the most important thing. We, we understand we're always going to park, park vehicles in this facility, totally understand that, and, and I understand we will continue to do that, but I just want to do everything we can to make sure if you pull your vehicle in here, the car on either side of you is safe. Well, as for your health, the forecast for Sunday is a hot one, so IMS Medical Director Jeffrey Billow says to hydrate starting Saturday with more than just water, but also drinks with electrolytes, and there will be cooling buses on race day as well as misting stations. Now, the gates open at 6 o'clock in the morning on Sunday. Those lots outside open at 5, and be sure to tune in tonight on RTV6 for a full report on these special ops. Reporting live from the Pagoda, Elena Martella, RTV6. Lauren, back to you in the studio. All right.